It's day 151. The family of the Prophet comes to Medina. The Prophet was unable to bring along his family when he migrated to Medina. They were left behind in Mecca. Although they wanted very much to come with him and the other Muslims, they could not. All of them had missed the Prophet dearly. They waited anxiously for the order to come for them to be reunited with him. The youngest daughter of the Prophet, Fatima, couldn't bear to be separated from him for a day, but now it had been many days. She was no longer able to hold back her tears. Every morning, she was watched at the window waiting for news to arrive. Finally, the rooms being built for the Prophet next to the mosque were completed. The Prophet too had missed his family. He sent his adopted son, Zaid, to bring them to Medina. Zaid immediately set out for Mecca and entered it secretly without being seen by anyone. The family, which was eagerly waiting for news from the Prophet, were happy when they saw Zaid, realizing that now was the time to reunite. Abu Bakr's son, Abdullah, helped him. With his help, Zaid was able to bring them safely to Medina. On the road, they did not meet any danger. After a long and tiring journey, they arrived at Medina. They hugged and kissed each other with a wonderful feeling of closeness. Fatima was especially happy. When she was separated from her father, she had suffered much hardship and sadness. When she was reunited with him, she forgot all about that. The Muslim women of Medina welcomed the family members warmly. They were lucky to have the opportunity now to learn a lot of things from these ladies who had been raised with the Prophet's education and discipline. The Prophet's family settled in the rooms prepared for them. Now, a new spring had come for all the Muslims. Torture, insult and abuse were behind them. They were free. A new chapter was opened in the life of the community. Everyone had complete peace of mind. The Muslims were together in one city and free from the attacks of the pagans.